Greetings, Silver Screen Suppers Clubbers. Today, I'm going to demonstrate a cocktail that is perfect to go with your screening of Black Narcissus. This cocktail was invented by Liz Locke, who is the genius proprietress of a website called Cinema Sips, and she pairs cocktails with movies. And I got in touch with her because I loved her website and said, could we do a little collaboration and show she's invented this just for the dinner and a movie Black Narcissus Month. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate this now. I haven't seen Liz's version, so it's a bit like that round on MasterChef when two people try and cook the same things without seeing what the other person's doing. So I hope I'm going to make it in a similar way, if not exactly the same as Liz's versions, but she sent me the formula. So here's how you do it. First of all, Liz uses a blue gin. Now, I can't get hold of that blue gin here. So Liz says, if you can't get hold of blue gin, you can use ordinary gin and you can buy something, I think it's called pea powder, which is a flour, a powdered flour, that will make your gin blue. So I'll put all the information about that in all the blurby blurbs. But I am using something called squid gin. This is a gin that myself and my cameraman, Mr Rathbone, first tried when we were on our honeymoon, didn't we, Mr Rathbone? We certainly did. <laughs> we certainly did. And we loved it because it's unusual. It's made with real squid ink. Plus it's in this absolutely incredibly beautiful copper container. It's just a beautiful thing. But the best thing about squid gin is it changes color. So this is a fairly new thing, I think, color changing gin, but it's a lot of fun. So I'm gonna demonstrate how that works. We are going for a friend's helping each. Some of you will remember my friends and relations measuring Jug. So Liz says two ounces of gin. So this is two ounces in the uh, large end of my jigger. Hoi! And if you can see the colour of that, it's kind of black. So it's a black gin. So I'm going to do one for Mr Rathbone because he's helping me with this video. Oh, that's a lovely sound. This little pourer actually came with the gin, which is rather nice. Oh, ooh, I haven't used it before, so I'm pleased that it works okay. So there you go. You've got your two ounces of gin. I'm going to put some ice in. I'm using a ladle rather than my hands because it's only polite. I bought this ladle uh, on the internet and I thought it was going to be a big ladle and it turned out to be tiny. Perils of buying things online. So in goes the ice. I like an icy drink, so I'm putting a fair amount of ice in. And then Liz says three to five ounces of elderflower tonic. We have this lovely uh, tonic manufacturer here in the UK called Fever Tree, and they do lots of lovely flavors of tonic. So uh, if you can do a bit of a close up here, Mr. Rathbone, so you might see how it changes color as you add the tonic. Pretty cool, huh? So it goes from the black narcissus to the pink narcissus. I have no idea how this works, but if you can get hold of color changing gin, it is a fun thing. I'm gonna use, I'm probably gonna use two of these cans between us. Depends really how much tonic you like with your gin, I guess, but you don't wanna drown it because you wanna taste the gin. And then Liz suggests garnishing with a lime wheel, which I assume is a slice of lime that you pop on the side, just like that. And there you have it, my friends. Your, I don't know what Liz is going to call this. Maybe it's a black narcissus, maybe it's a sister Ruth. You might see I've got my sister Ruth lipstick on. I did think I should probably wear a wimple or some such nun type outfit to do this video and I'm probably quite unusual in that I probably know about six or seven people who own wimples 
because <laughs> I'm a big fan of the all-girl supergroup, The Nuns, and uh, they perform on stage with beautiful wimples. But I didn't think to ask any of them if I could borrow one, so I'm just in black and white for a bit of nun effect. So I hope that you will make one of these, and I hope it might make you go a bit crazy like Sister Ruth. I absolutely love Sister Ruth. She's a warning to all of us women who get involved with men who are never gonna love us back. <laughs> Don't be crazy, you know? When you get involved with a man like that, be careful, my friends. Or it can be the other way around, I guess, if you're a man. Don't get, Mr. Rathbone's nodding. If you're a man, Mr. Rathbone, don't get involved with a crazy woman. I'll try and remember that. <laughs> well, Sister Ruth isn't crazy, but she is sent crazy by unrequited love. So I'm not going to give away too much of the plot, I hope. Hope you will enjoy your black narcissus. Hope you will make a Deborah Kerr burger. And do let me know what you think of the film. I. I think that possibly more people won't have seen Black Narcissus than some of the other films we featured on Dinner and a Movie. So if you've never seen it, you're in for a big treat. Give it your full attention. Turn the lights off, turn your phone off, get rid of any chatter boxes around the place, make them go away and indulge yourself with a Black Narcissus cocktail and a screening of the great movie. Cheerio chums.